bersamaan dengan nyeri pada saat buang air kecil atau dia adalah rasa terbakar pada saat buang kecil hmm. atau uh, urinnya berubah ada berwarna kemudian dan nyerinya itu berpindah-pindah kalau memang dia meng- merasakan nyeri yang sama seperti itu Wow, I didn't expect that kidney stones were such a big thing. Don't you think? Yeah. Hey, were you listening? Uh, what? Well, don't you think that someone should do something about this? Um, well, like, yeah, my mom's trying to get it too, and I feel bad about it. Well, no, we need to do something. Um, I got an idea. What about like we make like some kind of kidney stone detector so that we can help them to prevent? That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, my name is Kalista Aditya and my name is Melati Ainita Parwoto and we are from SMA Semesta Semarang. Nephrolithiasis is a common disease where stone is found in the kidney. Kidney stones are hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside your kidneys. Urine has various wastes dissolved in it. When there is too much waste and too little liquid, crystals begin to form. Sometimes, tiny stones move out of the body in the urine without causing too much pain, and it contains calcium oxalate. But stones that don't move may cause a backup of urine in the kidney, ureter, the bladder, or the urethra. Therefore, CAD is used as an effective and affordable alternative device to check kidney stones. A new detector we can operate as an indicator for people who have high calcium oxalate levels in their urine, which will help us to check calcium oxalate levels easily and practically with the use of TDS and PPM as its unit. It can check whether people have high PPM levels that can cause issues like nephrolithiasis. It can also be used regularly so that people can avoid the disease by consistently checking their urine with CAD. Due to the recurrent of Indonesians experiencing kidney stones, we came up with detection of calcium oxalate in nephrolithiasis disease by the use of CAD, a kidney stone detector by testing the content of calcium oxalate in urine using the value of total dissolved solids. And the next step is let me tell you about the our research procedure. So first, we need to prepare and do a research about the calcium oxalate detector and how do we use the Arduino ESP32 and do the coding. And after we find out and make the calcium oxalate detector, we can do urine experiment. And here's how we use the calcium oxalate detector. So here's how CADR calcium oxalate detector work. So first, we need to place a cup of urine under the electrodes inside the CAD device, and then the amount of TDS and temperature will appear. It can also be seen from a simple application based on Wi-Fi that we have made. And then, we conduct the experiment on urine and compare the difference in calcium oxalate content in normal urine and the urine of people with nephrolithiasis. Our simple Wi-Fi based. And here's our simple Wi-Fi based application that we can use. It could help people to check their urine gravel easily and practically. So when they try to test it on their calcium oxalate detector, it can come out through that form with the Wi-Fi based application that we make with MIT App Inventor and Firebase. So this is the design of the application that we made. And by using MIT App Inventor, we used these blocks to create a simple Wi-Fi based application. After conducting the urine experiment, we can collect the data and compare them between the nephrolithiasis and the normal patient. And how do we calculate the calcium oxalate is by multiplying the TDS PPM times by 0.015% and there we get the calcium oxalate. And the last thing that we can do is we do maybe making a conclusion about all the experiment that we have done. And here's our conclusion. After conducting the experiment, we can conclude that the people who have nephrolithiasis will have higher TDS level than in people who don't. People who have nephrolithiasis will have higher calcium oxalate level than the normal people. The average TDS for positive nephrolithiasis patients is about 43,805.56 ppm. Meanwhile, their calcium oxalate being about 657.08.
and the average for the normal people is in 33,395.49 ppm, while the calcium oxalate being 500.93 ppm. This shows that the CAD can be used as a urine detector for nephrolithiasis patients, and it can help people to check whether their urine TDS levels are still within normal range. So after it exceeds 40,000, they can get medical attention and refer to the experts. I think that's all from me. Thank you for listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.